Hi everyone, it is week six for the weekly creative tarot, another Sunday. And if you don't know, every single Sunday, I pull two cards from one of my decks to incorporate in our creative art for the next week. Now, last week we pulled cards that had a lot to do with trees and moon and um, like a lot of just different colors and stuff like that, which you can go back and look at. But I wanted to show you guys, which if you haven't been following my uh, tutorials for Yule, my Yule Tide gift tutorials, uh, you won't know what I've been doing. So I'm going to show everybody, but I created this right here. It is like a little imbuing station. So I incorporated the trees. And then because I love the moon so much, I also did a moon journal. I created my little sparkly moon journal. So that's what I did last week using our cards. And this week, let's find out what the cards have in store for us. We want to know what creativity we need to pull in for the coming week. That's what we need to know. And I really enjoy working with Shadowscapes, so I'm just continuing on working with Shadowscapes. I'll probably do it for a couple more weeks, you know, get through December with them. And then um, in 2020, maybe I'll switch to a different deck. I've got several decks that this could work with. Um, I don't know all the ones that it could work with. Oh, there's one card. All right, let's find out what the next one is. One more card for our creative art this coming week. What should we be creating? What should we be using? What's going to inspire us? That's what we need to know. I just got a new, um, a new deck too. I got the Paulina deck, so I'm super excited to mess with that one too. Ooh, I think we're going with that card now. All right. Let's see, what do we got going on here? All right, our first card we pulled is the Seven of Wands. Now, it kind of looks like a protection card, right? Here's, here's this like little fight scene going on and then these babies are in the background and they're being protected by mama. And there's also like almost a yin yang aspect going on here as well. Um, so it's possible that you might be fighting yourself about your creativity. So stop doing that. And let's see what colors do we got going on. We have a lot of oranges and we have whites, we have browns, we have like this purple gray color. Um, so from this card, we can be creating something that's maybe an infant related thing, you know, baby animals or you know, real babies, or uh, maybe even the idea of um, something small, something tiny to add to your artwork. Uh, you can do it in oranges and browns. Uh, you can do it in all white. Uh, but really stop fighting yourself about it, okay? Don't fight yourself on it, because I'm pretty sure this card is telling you not to fight about it. All right, up next, the second card is, wow, both of them are sevens, guys. Seven is important this week. Seven of Pentacles is the next one. Now, I want you guys to take a good look at her. She is beautiful. She is such a beautiful design. She's got the swirl. She's got the horns. She's got a very delicate feature. This fruit that's coming down, like she can partake in the fruit. And I really think this card is saying, you know, stop fighting yourself and you can take part in your fruit of creativity. So get after it. What are you waiting for? All right. Um, for this, this pretty, this fruit is really pretty, actually. Like I love the way that it looks. Um, also, we are working with oranges, like red, orange. Um, they're not bright oranges, almost a brown orange, like a burnt orange color. Um, she's also got some apples down here. Those apples, uh, greens are a thing. We got some trees. We got the number seven. Seven is important this week, guys. So maybe see if there's a way you can find seven in your creativity. You could maybe draw the number seven and add 
these colorings or aspects from the cards into your number design. You could uh, use the number seven in creating a poem or use the number seven in um, writing a story. Maybe a character's favorite number is seven and then you have to figure out why. All right, and then the colorings. If you crochet, you can add these kind of colorings. Like how pretty would these kind of colorings be in like maybe a little baby design, a teddy bear design, or maybe a fruit design or a blanket design even. I mean, that's almost a star shape up in here in these things right here. So definitely give it some thought, see what you guys can come up with, but stop fighting yourself on it. Just see where your creativity brings you and show me some of those baby animals you might be creating or hey, if you're creating a poem or a short story or something like that, I'd love to hear it. I'd be all for it. Just let me know. All right, you guys have a wonderful creative week and I'll see you again on Sunday.